To run integration tests against your Flutter application, you will use two dependencies. The Flutter driver package, similar to Espresso for Android or Selenium for Web, provides the necessary APIs to instrument your application. You will also use the test package that contains the necessary tools to create test methods and run different verification and assertion steps. To create integration tests, the first step will be to add Flutter driver and test in the postpec.yaml file as dev dependencies, since they do not need to be part of the final executable file. Then we run Flutter packages get to download these packages and make them available in the project. Integration tests do not run in the same process as the application, so we won't be adding these tests to the lib folder, nor to the existing test folder, where unit and widget tests are located. Instead, it is a convention to create a new folder called test underscore driver. We are going to create two new files inside the test driver folder. The first file that we will name calculator underscore app that dart will contain the instrumented version of our application. This file will contain a main method that will launch the instrumented version of our app. We will need to import the driver extension from the Flutter driver package as well as the file that contains the main method of our application, so the instrumentation tool knows what is the starting point of our application. We will alias the import of this file by using the keyword as, in order to differentiate it from the main method that we already have in this file. Then, inside the main of this file, we will run first the method enable Flutter driver extension to let Flutter know that we are running an instrumented app. And finally, we will call the main method of our Flutter application. The second file inside our test driver folder will be named calculator underscore app underscore test that dart, and it will contain the actual code that will drive and test our application. As we do with any other testing file, we are going to add a main method that will contain our tests. We will also import the Flutter driver package and the test package. Then we are going to create an instance of the Flutter driver class. We will use the setup all method from the test framework to connect the Flutter driver to our application just once. Consequently, we will have to close that connection inside the tear down all method. Now we can start running our tests. We will create two tests, one to validate the known values of pi and another one to multiply two numbers. The first test will simply wait for the application to show the different values of pi on the screen. We will use find.txt to locate the different values that we'd like to see. Since this text is showing up asynchronously, we will tell the driver to wait for that text to show up using driver wait for. Our second test will be a bit more dynamic, since we need to enter two numbers on the multiplication widget and then wait for the result. We will tell the driver to tap on the different text fields user driver that tap and pass in its finder. This way, the text fields can get the focus. Then we can enter the numbers using driver that enter text. Once we have entered both numbers, we can wait for the expected result, in this case, 50. We now have all the information that we need to run the integration test. In the terminal, Run the command flutter drive with the path of the instrumented app as the target parameter and the driver parameter being the scripted test that we want to run. This command will build your application, deploy it to a device, and run the instrumented test. You can see in the simulator on the right how the application responds to the events from the instrumented test. The results of this test will be printed in the terminal.